Hello. On 2020, I converted a small toy piano into a MIDI keyboard and I uploaded a demo of the keyboard. And since then, I have around 1.7k of views on, on that video. And uh, and I, there are a lot of comments, uh, not a lot, there are a few comments, but most of them uh, are requests on creating a tutorial on the same. So it's a little bit late, uh, but better late than never. So this is a tutorial on how to create a USB MIDI keyboard based on uh, based on STM32 microcontroller and I'll be using the cube IDE as the IDE to write the code and this will be more on software side which I found a little bit difficult and I think it's more um, challenging than designing the hardware part because I, I assume that most of the people who are into microcontroller uh, they will be able to easily create the uh, switches for the keyboard but the, I think the most challenging part is the USB protocol for MIDI and how to transmit the data. So today I'll be showing um, how to use Cube ID and use all the inbuilt libraries, no need for an external libraries. So I'm starting to create a new project. While we are waiting, I should uh, I should say like in this project we will not implement any switches or buttons for the actual keys. We'll just try to implement uh, a simple data transmission. Okay. So here we need to type the name of our microcontroller that we're trying to use. We'll give a simple project name. We need to open the perspective to create the setup for our uh, initializations for our project. And with this GUI tool, it's easier to create the initializations. Uh, I'm sure anyone who is familiar with the STM32 environment, they're familiar with this procedure. Okay, as I was saying, uh, here we will only just transmit a single note on and off uh, values for that node, basically uh, on and off transmission of the node, so that automatically after the given period of time it will send note on and then after some time it will send note off, just to demonstrate the USB MIDI implementation. Okay, so now we just go to the system core. We'll start with RCC basically enabling the clock because our board has external ceramic oscillator. Then we are going to system to enable serialware. This is for debugging purposes of course. And in the connectivity, we'll enable the USB as the full speed device. And then in the middleware, we need to enable the USB device, uh, human interface device. Here we are configuring the clock. We'll try to use the maximum possible value. Here by default it uh, settles on around 48 megahertz, but if we type 72 megahertz, it will take that value. Now we need to go to the core, then source, and open the, my, our main file. We'll come back to this, but first we need to check the middleware, where we actually need to uh, define the descriptors that are uh, that we need to send uh, for it to be recognized as a MIDI device. And inside USB, this application, this is the USB drivers which are present. These are also important. Uh, and we need to get some data from here. We'll use this later. So right now, this USB HID is configured as a mouse. So all this descriptor that it is sending to the host, this is for uh, a mouse demo. But we don't need this. We need to delete all this. Because um, here we'll put our own descriptors so that uh, our device is recognized as a USB MIDI device. 
same kind of description is available for both full speed high speed and other speed and we have to delete all of them we will not touch this usb hid and device qualifier and this mouse report those uh, will keep it as it is because there are some other functions which will try to call it uh, which uh, that's why we are not disturbing that it will not uh, hamper our operation we are removing the size of the uh, of the array because uh, we will initialize anyway here So here uh, we need this documentation this, that will be put in the description also. In this documentation we have a, a demo uh, at around page number 36 to 43. Uh, the USB descriptors that we will be needing that is already present is in this uh, document. Here this portion, uh, the beginning portion of it in page number 37, this portion is already actually defined for us. in. Uh, in the USB D, uh, descriptor, uh, this C file, yeah, this is this is the portion that is already defined. So we don't need to touch that. Uh, we'll keep it as it is. But this the portion we need to create a descriptor. So from that document, uh, yeah, uh, from page number 37 till 43, whatever the values are given, I have written it down in a text file with comments, uh, as I'll be showing shortly. Yes. Uh, so here I have already written down whatever the data is there in that and I have also given the page number so that it's, uh, one can easily uh, take a look and I have uh, tried to add as much uh, uh, comment lines as possible. So what you need to do, we'll just copy that in the USB full speed descriptor because we are not worried about the high speed or other speeds for now because we'll be using only full speed. Once, uh, once this is done, uh, so our descriptor part is taken care of. Now we will begin by putting some include statements. What we need to do, uh, the, we have to include the USB D HID header file. Otherwise, it gives some error, so we need to do that. We'll exactly copy that. Okay, here we need to initialize our USB handler, which is basically the pointer to all the USB functions that we'll find in usb device.c we'll copy this okay but we need to s call it as an extern uh, we need to provide the extern keyword because this function is uh, defined externally and now we'll begin by creating two arrays and those arrays will contain the MIDI messages that we will try to send to our host. For now, we will only uh, create arrays for MIDI uh, nodes on and off. So here for note on we are initializing an array because uh, it's a 4 byte array because the MIDI message for on or off any note is 4 bytes. Okay, so here we'll start by defining our MIDI messages. In the 4 byte data, the first byte is always, I mean, first byte can be divided into 4 bits. The first bit says in which virtual channel number it will go, the data will go through. The channel number can be from 0 to F, meaning 16 channel values can be, we are using 0. And the 9 basically says, like it's a, ch um, it's a MIDI on message. in the second case we'll use the it will be similar 
but here also we'll put uh, first we'll put like it's a midi on message so we'll put the value 9 and then we'll put 0 meaning it now it is the midi channel uh, midi uh, for a midi device there can be 16 channels so from 0 to f so here we'll be using the channel 0 as default for this demo Okay, now the third byte of the MIDI message is basically the note number. In this Wikipedia page on MIDI, here it is clearly said like MIDI for MIDI notes. The numbering starts, uh, the note numbers are from 0 to 127 and it is assigned from C negative 1 octave to G9. So we are taking some random value at 4, 0, 64 which is near the middle. I think it's good for good enough for demo purpose. And then the final byte of the MIDI message is basically the velocity, meaning it's how hard a key has been strike, uh, stricken on a piano, which basically represents that. And that value also goes from 0 to 127. So here we're putting 7 up, meaning the maximum velocity we're trying to send. Okay, so now we'll copy exactly meaning this, but we'll change it for our MIDI off note. Here also similar thing, only the 0, 9, we will make it as 0, 8, meaning the 9 value will be changed to 8, which actually notifies, uh, meaning which actually denotes that it's a off message. And rest of the thing, the same note and how we are, how fast we are trying to make the note off, all those values will be same, exactly same. Okay, here I forgot to put in the comment as MIDI note off, but anyway, I mean, 8 means MIDI note off. Okay, here in the while loop, we'll try to create meaning. Uh, we'll start by taking, looking at the functions that will be used to send the data. So here, USB DHID send report. This is the function we'll be calling there to try to send the data. But here first, we'll try to use this variables hid busy so that we don't try to send any notes when the function is busy so to do that we'll just try to write a while loop and in the while loop we'll try to check if the MIDI device is busy or not if it is not if it is busy we'll keep on going through the while loop if it is not busy then we'll send the data Here we are using this handler because now from now on this handler is basically our pointed to the MIDI functions, the USB device functionalities. So here we'll call the handler, USB handler, and then we'll try to get the attribute pre class data, and and that uh, that also has a structure inside which is called state variable. Sorry, and in the state variable we'll try to check if the state variable is uh, equals to busy or not.
if it is busy we'll just keep on going through the while loop if it is not busy then it'll come out of the while loop and we'll try to use the hid send report function to send our midi data First we need to put the handler, meaning to which MIDI device we are trying to talk to and then we need to provide the address of our array. And then we will put the size of our array which is basically 4 bytes and now we are putting some delay of 500 millisecond and similarly we will copy and we will put it for MIDI uh, note off so every 500 millisecond the note will be on and then off automatically so if we are trying to implement a keyboard we can put GP GPIO functions and it will read the key and based on that we can send the MIDI on and off notes but for now uh, in this demo just we need to sh we are trying to show the MIDI impl implementation USB MIDI implementation and how the and data is getting transmitted. So that is done. We'll just uh, yeah, we're just checking if everything is okay here. Yeah, that these descriptors are the most important part. And in my GitHub repository of this code, you will uh, that I have uploaded the text file also, which has the descriptors for MIDI. And these portions we are not changing basically. And it, it does not interfere with what I have checked. I mean, what if we even if we keep those functions for mouse? And we're trying to build the repository. Let's see how how it goes. Okay, we do have two warnings. Uh, let's check. Okay, okay. So this warning is trying to say, uh, like, uh, it is expecting, uh, I think, the pointer to the first byte of our array. But since our array is like four byte, it is trying to complain. But this is just a warning, so we'll ignore. And I have checked, like, th this does not cause any issue if we try to program. And in the next phase, we'll uh, see if the we'll upload this code into our uh, stm 32 f 103 microcontroller board, popularly known as Blue Pill, and we'll see if it is working or not. Okay, so now I'm trying to connect my microcontroller to my smartphone which is running FL Studio uh, using OTG cable and yes, uh, here you can see uh, automatically note on and off and getting sent. Thanks for watching.